lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. And that's something that we have such a promise from God. And I tell you what, you know it's time that we do look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Because I'm telling you, nothing can help you in this hour but Jesus Christ. He's the only one that will sustain us. He is the only one that will keep us. Hallelujah. I know that we feel the strength of one another, Lord, that the brethren and the sisters that's in the body of Christ. But you know that is still the love of God reaching out one to another. Because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Christ in us, the hope of glory, I tell you what, our heart wouldn't feel the way that it feels. Uh, hallelujah. It's because of Jesus Christ uh, Almighty that we even have a sober mind to serve Him. Uh, it's only because of His Spirit uh, that we even have a desire in our heart uh, to seek after Him. Uh, and I tell you what, I'm praying that God uh, will move across uh, this nation and the nations of the world and stir His people once again. Stir His people once again. And that they will not cling to the arm of flesh. But they will turn. And let their hearts be turned back to the Father. And that they will seek Him while He may be found. And that they will knock on His door. You know the Bible tells us if we will knock, He will answer. And He will come in and sup with us and us with Him. I tell you what, if there's ever been a time that we need to talk to God, that time is now. But it seems like the harder things get, the more God's people pull away from Him. Instead of turning to Him, they turn to the flesh. They want to go and relax the flesh. They want to go and pamper the flesh. But I'm telling you, that is not where your help lies. Your help lies in Jesus Christ. And it's time that we realize that before this thing turns upside down. But you know, it don't seem. Sometimes I think I'm just preaching to hear myself preach. Seems like the more I try to direct people and give them instruction by the Word of God and by His Spirit, seems like it just goes in one ear and out the other. Don't seem like anything has been accomplished. But I do know that God's Spirit and I do know that His Word, His Word prevails. And I'm telling you what, if you'll let this Word get rooted and grounded in you, it'll keep you in the hour of your temptation. It will keep you when nothing else will. Mama, Daddy, Husband, Wife, Children, they cannot keep you in this hour. Only Jesus Christ. You know it says in Psalm 91 that we need to get in the secret place of the Most High. But instead of God's people running to the ark of safety, they run to everything else. But I'm telling you there's coming a time upon this old world. Hallelujah. That people are going to run to God because they're going to look and see that He's their only hope. Because I'm telling you what God is going to take every crutch away from the people that they feel like they can lean on and they're going to have only one person to lean on and that's Jesus Christ only him hallelujah he goes on and says my help coming from the Lord which made heaven and earth you know the Lord he created my God Jehovah he created everything that was created hallelujah there is nothing made that was not made by God. When he took six days to create everything that was created, it all come from the mouth of God. It was spoken by his word, and he's the one that put it in existence. He's the one that put the laws that govern the universe and the world Hallelujah. And I tell you what, it's God that gives us the strength to stand in this day. And it is Him. You know, 
the world wants to preach evolution. They want to teach it to the children. That we just washed up on the seashore one day as an organism and that it just started sprouting from there. Then you got others saying that we come from apes. But I tell you what, they can say they come from an ape if they want to. But I tell you what, I didn't come from no ape. I come from my God Almighty. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, it's time for God's people to stand for what's right. It's time for God's people to stand for what's holy. But I tell you what, it seems like just a little persecution comes up against the church. And they want to fall over. But I'm telling you what, God is going to put the strength in us to stand. To them that will humble their self and seek him. And rely upon him and trust him. And it goes on in verse 3 and it says, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. You know what like it says in Psalms chapter 1? The tree that is planted by the water, it shall not be moved. Hallelujah, that its leaf will not fade. In Jeremiah that it talks about. You know, it's because the roots are going down deep. It's getting rooted and grounded in solid ground, in solid teaching. You know, that's what God is doing this day. The ministers that will stand and preach His Word without compromise and without fear. They're giving God's people direction. And tell them the way that they should walk in. The way that God directs by His Word. Not by what man says, but by what God's Word says. You know, there's a lot of perverted gospel out there. Man-made doctrines man-made laws and decrees but I tell you what there's only one law of God and one word and his word is his law and that's the one I stand in that's the one I teach from and that's the one I walk in hallelujah and that's why God keeps my feet he enlarges the steps beneath me that my feet slip not and it is because of him Writing the t words of his gospel upon the tablets of my heart. The fleshly tablets of my heart. And that's what he wants to do in each and every life. That will give their life to him. You know, God is just asking for a vessel that will surrender. For a vessel that will hear. Oh, I tell you what, but it seems like there's so much flesh in the church. That people don't want to hear God anymore. They want to go the way of the flesh. It says, He that keepeth thee will not slumber. That's one thing about Jesus Christ. One thing about our Lord. He's faithful. He's true. He's just. And He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And He, just like I said at the beginning of the service, He will keep you in the hour of your temptation. He will fortify you. He will build a hedge about you. And he will keep you in the shadow of his wing. And he'll pull you close to his bosom. And he will direct your path. I tell you what, it is his word that shines a light upon our path. And I tell you what, it's, it's a lamp under our feet. It keeps us, it shows us. Hallelujah. It will speak volumes to us if we would just listen and take heed. But you know, people don't want to take heed anymore. You know, the Bible says take heed to the words that you hear, at least at any time they slip from you. But you know what? It seems like people won't grasp on the word, only what they want to hear. And what they don't want to receive, they say, Lord, I don't want that. I'll receive this right over here, but I don't want to receive that that you're saying. But you know, this is a time and hour that God is expecting his people to humble themselves. Draw nigh to him and walk in him. And that they will be pleasing in his sight. You know, it's time that the desire gets in our heart to please the Lord. You know, I want to please my Lord. I want to do what he wants me to do. Is it easy at all times? No, it isn't. Sometimes it's so hard that my flesh just wants to rebel. But you know, through the grace of God and by his power, the Lord has helped me and he's killed out enough of my flesh that it helps me to keep going on and doing what he wants me to do. 
But you know that's what he's wanting his people to do. To mortify the deeds of this old flesh. And not walk by the ways of what the desire of the flesh wants to be. But he's wanting to say, look unto me. I'm your help. 